Rachel. I've been waiting. I've got a present for you. Wait, Jimmy, we said that you were not going to come to my house anymore, you remember? Yeah, I only came to tell you that I'm OK with your decision to marry Tony. <laughs> I wanted to give you this. Jimmy, did you break into my bag? Me? Somebody's broken into my boot and stolen medication out of my medical kit. I didn't touch it. <laughs> you can check my pockets. Do you understand how serious it is to steal drugs from a doctor's bag, Jimmy? I swear it wasn't me. But then, there was that kid hanging around your car at the surf club. What kid? I saw you talking to him once at the, at the hospital. Just get me to the hospital, please, Aiden. <sighs> Just relax, Dad. Expect me to understand. Shut up. Shut up. Aiden. Hello, Nucky. I wasn't sure if you were living here or not. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm just here to. Up. And did you break into my medical bag after I saw you earlier? No. Is that what you came here to do? To accuse me? Someone saw you. At first you were asking about your father's condition, and then my medical bag's broken into after someone saw you hanging around outside my car. It's pretty obvious to me what's going on. Your father's inside the house, isn't he? No. That's a lie. I, I heard noise inside. Mind. No, I haven't changed my mind about anything. Aiden. Aiden, your father needs urgent medical attention. You can't just lock him up yes, in here. Yes, I can, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Aiden, think about this. You're not being rational. There's nothing to be gained from this. You don't know what he did to me. Okay. All right, why don't you tell me what he did, and maybe we can just work this whole thing out. What my grandfather did, he did to him too. So he knew all along what was going on, and he could have stopped it, but he did it! Aiden, listen. He's an animal! He's gonna die like an animal too, and then all of this will be over. Okay, Aiden, I understand why you're doing this now, I do. But I can't stay here and watch you do this. No, please don't leave me here. So I'm just gonna go now, okay? Don't... You can't go anyway. I'm sorry that you're a part of this. I really am, but you're not going anywhere until it's over. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden I need you are crossing a line here. I that need you cannot to move your car so from. no one sees it. Give me your keys. They're in my pocket. for days, even weeks. Bull, he's dying. Look at him. Your father is very sick, but what he's experiencing is delirium tremens. From the alcohol withdrawal, he still has plenty of strength. <gasps> That's not true. When I found him, he was coughing up blood, OK? He should be dead. And he will be if you keep this up. But not today and not tomorrow. There's really no telling how long it might take. 
You're just saying that to trick me oh. into letting you go. I know that. It's okay. Everything's going to be all right. I'm right here with you, Larry. Shut up! Just shut him up! It's okay. Help me, please. I know, I know. It's okay. All right, you win. Give him something for the pain. Shut him up. He's exhausted, and we're going to take him home right now. Listen, can you just tell Nicole that I'll, I'll come visit her? You just look after yourself, mate. And listen, thank you. The way you handled yourself out there was incredible. You should be very proud. No, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't look after her better, Roman. Jeff, if it wasn't for you, she wouldn't be here at all. I'll never forget it. Come on, mister. Let's That's get right. you home to a warm, comfy bed. You look dead on your feet. Finally about to hit the wall. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Look, Roman, remember I said I had something to tell you? Hey, mate. Uh, Alf just told me the latest. I'm glad you found him. You OK? Yeah, only just. Can't imagine what you're going through. I'm really sorry about the baby. We would have called you. What about the baby? Uh, I assume Charlie would have told you. Martha lost the baby yesterday. I'm so sorry, Martha. If I had known, I would have gotten a message to you before now. Please don't apologise. There's one thing I've learned. It's that I can always count on you. And if you're not here, there's a pretty good reason why. There's nothing you could have done anyway. Well, I guess I should go and let Jack look after you. Let me know if you need anything. Roman. I'll never forget the way you've supported me and our baby. You'll always be special in my life. Take care. Hey. Hey. I was just telling Martha if she needs anything. Thanks. But I think you've got enough to concentrate on at the moment. Nicole needs you too. Roman, I'm sorry. I didn't want to tell you why you were looking for no, Nicole. I mean, okay. I tried to today, but we got interrupted. You don't need to explain. Look, I finished getting statements. Can I take you home? I'll make you something to eat. Thanks, but I, I'm, I'm going to just wait by Nicole's bed until she gets one on the ward. I'll be fine. You go. I give you a call. Is it raining there too? Yeah, no, it's, it's bucketing down here. So what's the name of the town that your auntie's house is in again? I keep forgetting it's Bengara or something like that, right? Can I get a landline number? It's just calling in my mobile all the time. It's costing me a fortune. 